I'm Hedy Keil. I fold a lot of accordions and this is a method that I find the easiest and I would like to demonstrate it. You take the one side of the paper and you bring it to the opposite edge, line it up carefully so corner goes on corner and then you take your two thumbs and bring them down to the middle and fold away to the outside. You pick up the piece, you have one mountain fold. You take that mountain fold and you bring it over to the edge. I will call it the designated edge. It's always the same edge. And you line it up at that edge again carefully. Bring your thumbs down and guide them to the sides. Then take the leftover portion bring this over to the designated edge, lining it up and again holding it. You pick up the piece and you see that you have two mountains and one valley. So you turn that valley into a mountain. Spread out the sheet so you have all mountain folds in a row, take the first mountain fold, bring it over to the designated edge, line it up carefully, fold it. Take the second mountain over to the edge, lining it up, fold it. And the third mountain, the same procedure. And then the leftover piece also folds over to the edge. Open the paper up and you see you have now four mountains and three valleys on one side and on the other side you have four valleys and three mountains. You take the, put down the paper so all the mountains, the four mountains are up and you reverse the other the three valleys into mountain courts. Spread your paper out. You see you have all mountains now. And you continue with the folding the mountains over to the designated edge. This is your first mountain. Second one. Make sure they always line up straight from corner to corner. And you can make the fold you can press down so that the fold is distinct. Take the next mountain. And the next one. Next one. And so on until all the mountains have been folded over to the edge and the last section is also folded over. Then you sharpen the folds and you open it up and you have a eight section accordion. Again like on one side you have seven mountains and eight valleys, on the other side you have eight valleys and seven mountains. Hmm?